Hey guys, and welcome to my next 8-Bit Summer LP, Batman Returns for the NES. I cannot believe I've never done this game. This is actually a big childhood game of mine. I've played this game so much when I was, like, a little kid. I needed to see something here real quick. Okay. But, uh, it's based on the Batman Returns movie, which in the 90s caused a lot of controversy because yeah, it was a lot darker. Um, it, was, uh, uh, it was a lot darker than like the original Batman with the Joker and I don't know a lot of parents were not happy with the movie because it was so dark but uh, I like but I like the movie and like I said this game was one of my childhood games I played the heck out of this game when I was a little kid or growing up uh, not a little I mean I was like 9, 10 but I played this game so much when I was grow when I was a kid and I can't believe I've never done it. But we're going to do it now for 8-Bit Summer. It's your typical beat-em-up game. But it follows pretty closely to the plot of the Batman Returns movie. Basically, uh, Batman defeated the Joker. Defeated him later. And, but now uh, a new threat's coming, which is uh, the Penguin. The Penguin is the main villain for the for Batman Returns. Play by Danny Vito. So let's go. So now we're heading to, but it's a typical beat em up game. But, I mean, it's fine. I mean, I mean, I just played this game. So, the blue ones right here, they can jump. Or the purple ones, whatever color these guys are, I think they're purple. They jump. The blue ones, they can jump they can jump too. They jump. But you can jump too. You can do this cave cake move, but every time you do it, you lose health, so I wouldn't recommend using it. Let's last resort. The red ones here shoot guns at you. But as long as you get up to them, you won't be able to. You got the clowns here. These are all like the the uh, penguin henchmen. But yeah, I played this game so much when I was a little kid. I cannot believe I've never done this on my channel. But I never actually really played the, the original Batman the game that much. But I played this one a lot. Oh no, I just never had the original Batman growing up, but I... I mean, I've played it eventually, but I never actually... I played this one a lot more. I don't know what it was about it, but I really liked this one. And these guys right here have sticks they can hit you with. So... These guys are just regular old gr grunts. They are no no con uh, no 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 consequence whatsoever. Those are like the most common. Those are kind of like the regular old foot soldiers from like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Well, it makes kind of sense. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This is made by Konami. So. But I said this closely relates to the uh, to the uh, movie, the plot from uh, Batman Returns. Like I said, the penguin, the penguin is trying to rise in power. He wants to become mayor of the city. These guys right here, the easiest thing to do with them is jump kick them. Best thing to do is jump kick them. They'll just move down. Sometimes they'll just shoot across the screen like that. Or just jump kick them. Best thing to do. These are basically the same little... Uh, oh, you got slippery mechanics here. Basically the same as the other ones, except they're a little bit faster. That's really about the only difference. They're a little bit different, a little faster, and also you got slippery mechanics to deal with. Because it is winter time. 
So there's gonna be a bunch of ice, so. Again, these guys are no consequence whatsoever. All you do is punch you. All right, so we got stage one, two battle in front of the plaza. I think this is we get, yeah, the first boss. Best thing to do is here is jump. Yeah, you get one life. Yeah, you get one life. You can push it. I'll get back to it again, but I think the best thing to do is use the bat use what batterings you have. I should have saved, but it's all right. Well, let's do it again. It's been a while since I played this game, though, but. Because I don't own this game, I don't really own a copy of this game anymore. When I lost all my NES games, but I mean, I had it at one point or another. I'll eventually get another copy of this game. That's not that expensive. I saw it online. It's really not that expensive game to get. So I may get me another copy of an actual copy of it. Really? There you go. All right, we got the two clowns again. There we go. Ow. The hardest part about these is actually lining up with the guy. Go. And you have to get used to them because they are going to be more prominent as the game goes along. But yeah, I'll make sure to save when I get to the boss this time so you don't have to we go do that again. Try this again. This time, let's use the uh, batterings. There. Then we get a box, which the box gives you extra. Uh, now we're at the Trek's department store, which is home up, which, if you remember correctly, is Selena Kyle's, uh, where she worked at. Um, but um, the box gives you extra health. So you actually got like, it's kind of like a Metroid energy tank. It gives you an extra uh, box of health. These guys right here just kind of shoot at you.
They, like I said, these guys are a little bit faster. They can hit you kind of hard, like 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 I do, like they're doing with me right now. All right, anyway. As they get used to the motorcycle, all right, we got the little double guys. Best thing to do with them is when they shoot the fire. Or when they shoot the fire at you, that's the best time to go after them. The fire hydrants is the one that gives you help this time, so. They're not, they're not presents, it's fire hydrants. Yeah, you gotta be careful that they will charge at you. If you charge at them, if they charge at you, just move out of the way. There we go. Got the stick guys back. But yeah, we're heading to Shrek's department store, which is, you know, where Selena Kyle, aka Catwoman, works at. And in the movie, uh, you'll probably see the cutscene. Because I think they showed the cutscene. Oh, well, we got the motorcycle guy again. One. Each motorcycle guy, for the most part, only takes uh, three hits. Alright, we got the double guy again. Great, another one. There we go. Thank you for um But yeah, uh, in the movie, I said this is where Selena Kyle work. I'm pretty sure they'll show the cutscene, but I don't know. Can't remember if they exactly show the cutscene or not. Oh, here's Catwoman. I will destroy this building. Now we got. I think we actually have to fight Catwoman now. So, Shrek's apartment store to the roof. So this is where we have to use the grappling hook a couple times. So, oh, we don't have to fight Catwoman yet. Ow! Stop it! There we go. Yeah. And it's only the second game. We got a lot more games to go for 8-Bit Summer. I got my six games planned out. It's just, this is the one that was picked next. I think the statues are going to give you health and stuff this time. I could be wrong. I, I'm wrong. It's, it's, it's not the statues. I think you get an extra life if you uh, get to 20,000 points. All right. All right, we got another motorcycle guy. One. Two and three. For the most part, at the beginning, these are guys. That, a lot of these guys is what you're going to fight. You'll fight more variety of enemies as you get further into the game. Ah, I forgot about the devils.
Best thing to do is go after like one at a time. So you can get rid of. So you can get rid of one of them. So they won't be ganging up on you like they're doing with me right now. Alright, so now this is where the grappling hook comes in handy. Just underneath here, go. Alright, so this part right here. Oh yeah, I forgot how annoying this part was because of the uh, electricity. I forgot how ugly learning this part is because of the electricity. But on this part right here, just stay on the the left side, the right side, and it will be fine. Oh yeah, these stupid things. I think you can use your grappling hook to knock them down, but I could be wrong. Yeah, I think you got to start at the very beginning of the level if you fall. Okay, so the grappling hook doesn't work. I'm gonna have to go through all that again anyway, because... Because... There was just not enough hook. I just didn't want to got to go through all that again. Let's try this again. Alright. Oh great, we gotta go through all of this again. Go with the helicopter again.
Ah. All right, we're gonna end it here. When we come back, I'll figure out how to be. I, I gotta remember how to beat these stupid helicopters and all that. And then we'll finish up level two and then move on. So have a good day. I'll see you next time. Let's play Batman Returns, part of Eight Bit Summer. This is DKS3 the Crazy Gamer.